You're watching Mastering Copilot video series. In this episode, we are going to learn about how can you use Copilot in Teams. Let's begin. Before we dive deep into how can you use Copilot in Teams, there are a couple of things you need to understand. To use Copilot within your meeting or meeting recap, you must have enabled transcription within your meeting. So this can be done prior to the meeting or during the meeting as well. I will show you how it can be done. Another thing you need to be aware is Copilot will not work in meetings that are hosted outside your organization. To activate Copilot in Teams, you should be using the new Teams client. You can always check this by going into the settings and see if you have toggled on this to use the new Teams. Or you can go to settings and click on about Teams to look at your Teams version as well. For some reason, if you are using the old Teams version, you can always go to teams.microsoft.com, sign in with your organization credentials, and on the top ribbon, you can see a button to toggle to use the new Teams. So click on switch to new Teams. Once you switch back to the new Teams, you can see that Copilot option is enabled for you. So I'm gonna use the rich client. Let me quickly minimize this. So let me open the rich client for teams and i have enabled to use new teams first let's go and learn how can you use copilot in teams after a meeting all right so let's assume you have missed a meeting and you want to go and know more about the meeting you have missed so go to your calendar and select a meeting you have missed open it and on the top ribbon click on recap you can do a couple of things here so one you can definitely go and watch the recording and see what you have missed you can check who you can check the speaker you can check the topics discussed and you can even view by chapters as well that gives you different ways on accessing the recording so that is great on the right hand side you can see that there's an option called ai notes this is generated by copilot so if you don't have time to go through the recording, you can quickly go through the summary or the notes created by Copilot to see what are the top actions discussed, what are the follow-up tasks and things like that. You can click on mentions to see if they have mentioned you or any other people for any action items, things like that. If the meeting is enabled for transcription, you can click on transcript and you can download the transcript or you can simply go and read the transcript as well so there are multiple ways you can access the meeting if you have missed it for copilot to work you definitely need to have this transcription enabled now since this meeting have transcription enabled i can always click on this copilot button on the top and click on copilot that will open the sidecar for copilot here i will be able to ask additional questions to learn more about the meeting which has happened i'm going to ask copilot summarize the objective of this meeting in one sentence and click on send all right so it gave me information like what is the objective of this meeting i can ask follow-up questions like using some sample prompt which copilot have already given let's use a prompt called list action items. All right, so based on the question, it is giving me the action items discussed during the meeting. I'm not gonna read through that, but you get the idea, right? So each meeting will have different objectives, so you can always go and ask this question. But if you are stuck and you don't know what to ask, always click on more prompt. This will give you some suggested prompt which you could go and ask copilot like i mentioned before transcription has to be enabled for this copilot to work you can automatically turn on transcription as well while you create the meeting if you are the organizer so let me quickly show you how it is been done so let's go and click on create a new meeting while you create the meeting i'm just going to provide a sample name click on more option to see the option to enable transcription by default and within that go to recording and transcript so while you create this meeting, you can automatically record it. So even if somebody forgot to turn on recording, you can automatically record it. And for Copilot, you can say that with transcription or without transcription. So you can select with transcription and you can save it as the default option. Otherwise, during the meeting, you can enable transcription and turn on recording as well. Similarly, you can go to the chat and you can ask questions on the chat window as well. So let's assume this is the chat you want to work on. I'm going to click on open the chat in a new window, expand it. When you do that, you can either click on this copilot button on the chat to open the copilot sidecar or you could click on copilot button on the messaging tab as well. There are some subtle differences with these two. 
If you click on this Copilot sidecar on the chat window, if you click on this sidecar option, this option is going to give you all the option to ask question or use appropriate prompt to gain understanding about what things are discussed here. Things like recap the meeting. It gives you data on what it has been discussed while you were away. Or you could ask questions like rather than reading all the chat history, you can ask questions like what are the open items that scans through the entire chat to give you the answers what you are looking at. And just like other co-pilots, it gives you reference points as well. So if you are particularly looking for certain information, you can click on this reference icon that immediately takes you to where the data is coming from. So that is good. The second thing is the co-pilot button in your chat window. So if you click on this option, this will allow you to modify what you are writing or adjusting your tone on the messages you want to send in the chat. So let's assume I want to type in like, I want to tell the team that, hey, I missed the meeting. I apologize for that. And I'm so happy to see that the team is doing a good job so far and keep up the good work. This is something which I want to tell. But if I want to rewrite it, I can always click on this Copilot button and click on rewrite. It immediately gives me a different statement based on what I have inputted here. This time Copilot tells me to rewrite it say, stating my apologies for not attending the meeting. I'm glad to see that team's progress and excellent work. Keep it up. It bit more polished and concise than what I have written. And you can always adjust the tone just like how we have done in Outlook. So let's assume if I want to make it even longer, I can click on longer and it will go and rewrite it for me. And again, not only the number of characters, I can even make it sound different as well. So I can make it sound like casual, professional, confident, or I can always click on the custom option and I can type in what I need as well. So I'm going to click on adjust. And this time I'm going to click on professional and this time it is going to make it a different statement based on what we have chose. Just like um, Outlook, I can always revisit the previous statement by clicking on this button to go back and see what are the statements which is written. And once I find which one is appropriate for my taste, I can click on replace it. So that automatically replace that with the new statement what it is given. Again, you don't have to send this. You can always come and modify it based on how you want to sound yourself. So Copilot will give you a good starting point. So it is up to you to refine this starting point what you get and customize it based on your need. In the beginning, I mentioned about to use Copilot, you need to have transcription enabled within your Teams meeting to use Copilot. But if you don't want to record or transcribe confidential meetings in Teams, you can still engage with Copilot when you set it up to without transcription in your meeting. So let me show you how you can do that. So go to your new teams and go to your calendar. Let's assume you want to create a new meeting. Before creating, click on more options. Click on recording and transcript. By default, this option is with transcription, but you can select without transcription. This is purely for Copilot, but if you choose this option, you can still go ahead and use Copilot, still be able to work without transcription. So let's assume you are running a meeting and somebody joins in late. The meeting participants will be able to access any content from the moment Copilot without transcript was initiated. So if you have this option turned on, uh, if somebody joins your meeting late, they will be able to actually use Copilot to go back in time and understand what happened in the meeting so far. And after you make the change, click on save, um, you can by default enable this to automatically record the meeting as well um, along with uh, Copilot transcription on or off and click on save and create the meeting. Additionally, you can use Microsoft 365 chat within Teams as well. So let me show you where and how you can access that. So let's go to your Teams. Click on this ellipsis on your sidebar and search for Copilot and select Copilot. So this is how you can add Copilot to your Teams and you can pin it on the sidebar. So this is always available for you. And if you want to use it in the chat option, you can go to chat and you can pin it here as well. So you can always open this chat in a new window and you can always keep it on your sidebar or as a separate window and you can always use it or 
you can keep it within your team's app itself and you can ask bunch of questions if you don't know where to start i would recommend you to start with try these prompts this will give you an idea about what are the things you could try with this copilot chat things like prompt on how to help you start with your email how to prepare for your meeting if you are trying to understand what's latest from a particular person based on emails chat etc you get the idea right so you, you can use lot of these prompt for different different things let me show you how you can use it so i'm going to ask a question list key points from and i want to include a document so that's the prompt i have given i want to get some key points from a document so to access the document all you have to do is click on the forward slash it opens up the files you have opened or access to your files in your onedrive so i'm just going to click on this powerpoint presentation it's about a um, electric bike and click on send so now uh, it is scanning through all the data which is available in this particular presentation you can click on this presentation to open up and see what it's available like i said it's, it's some details about an electric bike company what are the strength their weaknesses selling points things like that i'm going to minimize it so now based on the prompt i have given copilot is giving me information like hey this presentation is about so and so uh, the agenda of this presentation include these these are the key points what i think about this particular file you have just uploaded so i can actually copy this and use it in my email or the document i am creating or i can ask further follow up questions things like it mentioned about relay cloud what are the other products by relay cloud it tells that hey relay cloud is a company that produces wide range of product blah 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 and again if i want to understand who are the competitors uh what, what the swot analysis for that particular product if if that is mentioned in in that particular document it is going to find that details for you rather than like you spending enough time to just go through this document one by one you could ask this question and gain um information what you are looking at to go back to the main chat you can either click on new chat and try some other prompt so this time i'm going to ask um, hey create um, so let's see if i can open a file first so i have a document here called contesto marketing plan so let's quickly open the file it include lots of detail about that particular company um what are the target mar market they operate in objectives things like that so i want to quickly create an faq on this document i don't want to spend a lot of time doing it myself let's see if copilot can help me with that so i'm going to go back to the microsoft chat i'm going to tell copilot create a faq from and go to files and select the contesto marketing plan and click send so the document which we use using just now it, this doesn't have any uh, faq section uh, in it what if i want to add an faq towards the bottom of this page or at the top or separate so that's the objective all right so the copilot is creating so based on the document copilot have created bunch of questions for me uh, what's the purpose of this marketing plan what is the company's overview the target market So what if it is a huge document and you want to create an FAQ quickly you could use this prompt to actually create an FAQ this can be used for anybody who is actually accessing this document or for yourself to quickly go through the question as a knowledge base to understand what's in in the document let's go back to new chat so let's try some other prompt so let's click on this prompt which is prepare for meeting and let's start let's select an existing meeting in your diary and click send so i have a meeting coming up with this particular product company called ubico and i want some assistance in terms of helping me prepare for this meeting so let's see what copilot is coming up with it is telling me when is this meeting going to happen who are the participants in the meeting and the objective of the meeting is to discuss their product portfolio and uh, i i can understand that there are a couple of people away on this meeting and uh, there is a reference email which i want to go through so these are some of the details which i could use or directly go back to emails and see what it is discussed before preparing the meeting so this is absolutely great so click on new chat so any time when you use copilot um chat to ask questions all of your histories will be recorded here click close additionally 
um, you can click on stay on top to give you some suggestions on what are the things you have missed which you should be going through to be and stay on top of your work i would encourage you to click on this view prompt to gain more understanding about additional prompt which is available because we are all quite new to this copilot and gen ai we could always use some additional tips on how we can prompt it um, and this include categories like if you want to catch up or create something new or ask copilot for some assistance these prompts will give you an idea on what you could ask all right so that's a quick video on how can you use copilot in teams i hope it was useful i will see you on the next one take care